Okay, so here's my box.net website. All you have to do is click the download. It should take about a second. Uh, save it to your desktop. And that was fast. Alright, so here's my thing. EPSXE170. Make sure to make a new folder. Call it whatever you want. And it's right here. New folder. And here's my EPXE. Alright, so open. No, actually, not first. X. Uh, if you want to, you can extract it, but I'm going to extract it because um, I just want to. So, uh, here's my new folder. Okay. Uh, shouldn't take that long. Alright, so uh, here it is. Got everything in it. Alright, so I already pro provided the BIOS and the patches and plugins and everything else. So, all you, all, all you have to do is go to ep 6 e Go to config. And go to wizard good. Alright, then just click config. Um, yes, you want the SCPH 101. Yes, you want POPS, a soft drive 1.18. You want POPS, DS sound audio drive 1.9. And on this one, you want POPS, CDR drive 1.4. Alright, you might get a error like this one, so I click OK. And click config. So either click X or if that doesn't work, click OK. But first click OK. And then if that doesn't work, then click X. So you can click next. Then go to controller one and uh, do your thing. I'll just change that up right now. Alright, and then click OK. And click next. And you should be done. And now for games. Um for games, uh, here's my old video. Go to roms.zofar.net and uh, click in a. You can download whatever game you want, it doesn't really matter. There's a download limit though, so you know. I already downloaded it at 5, so I can't download anymore. So once you're on the website, uh, click um, click here to download this file. Followed by megabytes. And then yeah, it should start downloading, but I get this because I'm already at my limit. Okay, so usually once you're done downloading a game, um, wait, you should get a uh, a file that looks like this, kind of like the EPXE one. So open that up, and there should be a couple things in there. Uh, there's uh, for me it's two, so you get three, so you get four. So get the one that has the most space, like this one has 300 megabytes. After you're done, and just extract it onto your desktop by dragging and dropping. And then, uh, yeah. It shouldn't take that long. Okay, it's done, so just exit out of that. Okay, so here's my game. It's a .bin file. It, um, sometimes you have to change it to .iso or dot rar or dot bin or dot img so you know that depends so I go to the file click run iso and uh, here's my current game click open and uh, there you have it um it's basically it So uh, please comment, rate, and uh, thanks for watching.